Good afternoon, class. Today we are going to look on uh, longitudes and latitudes. That is what we have already covered uh, from form one, form two, most likely in geography. When we talk about longitudes and also latitudes. Now, if I can bring the introduction back a bit, when we talk about latitudes and uh, longitudes, longitudes. If I have to draw the drop, of course I'm going to show you. If I have to draw, this is the drop of the heart. I'm just assuming. This is the drop of the heart. I'm going to show you the, the drop part of it. Now, if we only talk about longitude and latitude, if I have to give the definition of a longitude, we always say they are the marginal lines. And I'm going to emphasize the word marginal. They are marginal lines which are running from North Pole to South Pole. From North Pole, this is where we have our North Pole. Our North Pole. This is where we have our South, South Pole. So those lines which are running from North Pole to South Pole. We call them the longitudes. And the reason why we are calling them the imaginary is because we are inside the drop of the heart. We are inside the drop. So we don't see them. We don't see them. We are just only imagining them that they are running from this one. But if you are being told to stand somewhere and say this is the longitude, this is the latitude, you can't see them. That is the reason we say they are the imaginary lines which are running from North Pole or the drop of the heart to the South Pole. So all of these lines which are running from North Pole to South Pole, we call them the longitudes. This one which are running from North Pole to South Pole, we call them the longitudes. Now, when we talk about the latitudes, because it is a combination, there is no time we can talk about the longitudes without mentioning the latitudes. So the moment we talk about the uh, latitudes, we say these are the imaginary lines which are running from the east to the west part of the drop, or from west to the east. As long as they are running from east to west, or from west to east, all of these ones we call them the we call them the latitudes. We call them the latitudes. So you can see the difference now. You can see the difference now when we talk about the latitudes and longitudes. Longitudes, they are running from north pole to south pole, or from south pole to north pole, that order. Either you are running from North Pole to South Pole, South Pole to, then the moment we talk about the latitudes, the moment we talk about the latitudes, we also say they are the marginal lines which are running from west part of the drop of the heart to the east. And of course, as I have emphasized, they are imaginary. They are imaginary. And this is the drop of the heart, if I can show you. And I want you to show you the real drop of the heart. We are going to talk about that one. This is the real drop of the heart. If you try to look at this one, this is the drop of the heart. This is the drop of the heart. Now, if you have to look very close, we have these lines which are learning from north to south. We have these lines which are learning from north to south. We just call them the, the longitudes. These ones are the ones which are learning from north to south. They are learning from north to south. We call them the, the longitudes. Then, you can see the others which are learning from east to west or west to east in that order. These ones which are just learning from... I'm just going to leave them up so that you can see it. So, this one are the latitudes. This one the latitude which are running from east to west. They are running from east to west. We call them the, the latitudes. And then maybe if I can emphasize so also, we have the equator. We have the equator. Equator is also a latitude. The reason why the equator is a latitude it is because it is also running from east to the west part of the western part of the of the rock. Of course, I'm going to emphasize the Hatamon when we talk about the equator. It is a special latitude which we are on to classify it under the Great Circle, but we are on to cover that one when the time comes for distinguishing between the Great Circle and the Small Circle. But for now, the only thing I wanted you to know is that what is the difference between a longitude and a latitude? And I've said longitudes, they learn from North Pole to South Pole. They just learn from North Pole to South Pole. But when we talk about it, the latitudes, they learn from west part of the drop to the east. And of course, they make a circle. They just go around. They learn from east part of the drop to the western part of it. This is this one. Then I can also demonstrate this one. I can also demonstrate this one. This is also now the another diagram which you can demonstrate the drop of the heart. You can see these wires, you can see these lines which are learning from north to south. These are the latitudes. All of this one, all of this one which are just learning from north to south, this one which are learning from north to south, this one which are learning from north to south, all of this one, we call them the longitudes. 
But now, when we talk about the latitudes, when we talk about the latitudes, you can see this one. You can see this one. This one, the one which is learning here from west to east or east to west, we call them the, the latitude. This one, we call them the latitudes. So now you can make the difference when we talk about the longitudes and the latitudes. So that when we are all to cover, when we are all to cover various distances and even the degree difference which is being covered on the globe of the heart, you can understand. When we talk about maybe considering the longitudes, what lines are you supposed to measure in? What lines are you supposed to focus on? Then the other way, if we talk about the latitudes, if we talk about the latitudes, which are the lines you are supposed to focus on? Which are the lines you are supposed to focus on? No. Now on the production part of it, we have realized that when we talk about longitude, these are the imaginary lines running from northern part of the rock to the southern, or from southern to the northern. This one which are just running from north to south and longitudes, and the one which is running on your just uh, from east to west or west to east, we call them the latitude. So that is the major introduction I can give when we talk about the longitude, longitudes and latitudes. That is the major introduction I can give the moment we talk about longitudes and latitudes. Now, since I mentioned about the equator, since I, mean, I want to make it uh, more bold. I want to make the equator to be more bold because I want us to cover something about it. Now, the moment we talk about, now, we have a line here, we have a line here, which we call the prime meridian, prime meridian. And also we have a line here, this line, we call it the, the equator, we call it the equator. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning about those two lines, they are very important lines. When we talk about prime meridian, Prime meridian is a line on the globe of the heart, of course it is a longitude, which is 0 degrees eta east or west of the globe. It is zero degree. At this point it is 0 degrees eta east or west of the west of the globe. Now, also the same thing I wanted to mention. Now, if this is the prime meridian, if this is the prime meridian, the moment you keep on moving to this direction, the moment you keep on moving to this direction, you continue from 0, 10, 20, back up, and that what? 8 east. The moment you move towards this direction, we call it east. You are moving from 0 degrees, which is a prime meridian, which is a prime meridian line, which is 0 degrees. Then the moment you move to the eastern part of the prime meridian, the moment you move to the eastern part of the prime meridian, you start counting eastwards. So we have 0 degrees. 0 degrees it is neither east nor west. Also 180 degrees it is neither east nor west. But now, the moment we begin from 1, we have 1 degrees east, 2 degrees east, 3 degrees, up to 179 degrees east. The moment you reach at 8 degrees, you don't say east or west. At 0 and 180, it is not east or west. But everything from 1 to 179, we have 1 degrees towards east, 2 degrees towards east, 3 back up 180, back up 180 degrees. Now, for example, what I have here, for example, what I have here, I'm trying to, I just assume that this is the prime meridian, this is the prime meridian. This line we have here, this line we have here is the prime meridian. Now, the moment we start counting from this point, we at this point. For example, this one, if this is zero, this can be maybe 45 degrees east, this can be 90 degrees east, this can be 135 degrees uh, east, then the moment you reach here, it becomes 180, it becomes 180. So that the distance you have covered from here up to here in on the equator, but the degree you have covered is what? 180. The degree from here up to here is 180. But now you start from zero, then the moment you move from zero, everything becomes something is, is, is. But at the moment you reach at this point, it becomes 180 degrees, not east, non west. The same thing applies here, if you are moving from here to this direction, if you are moving from here to this direction, you start from zero, this is one degree west, maybe this is 45 degree west, we have maybe 90 degree west up to 180, up to 180, so that if you cover from here up to here, it's 180 towards east, also, if you cover from here up to the other part, it is 180 degrees west. So if you had 180 degrees for east and also 180 degrees for west, we are all to have a summation of what? 360. Of course, you know 
the moment you move from here to here and from here to here, you have come up with what they call a complete circle. And in the mathematics, we know the moment you cover a complete circle, it gives to the summation of 360 degrees. So the moment you start at this point, the moment you count towards the heart line, we call it east. From here, in the other side, it is eastwards, up to 180. Then, the moment you start counting towards the western part of it, the moment you start counting towards the western part of it, we count in terms of what? West, deeply, 2 degrees west, 45 degrees west, up to 180. But I have made a very good emphasis. Zero is not east nor west. And also, 180 is not east nor west. But the others is towards east and towards west, so that the moment you turn a complete circle, then you are going to make 360 degrees. That is as far as uh, longitudes are concerned. As far as longitudes are concerned. Now, I talked about the equator. I talked about the equator. And in our sketch here, this is our equator. In our sketch here, this is our equator. What I have, the one I've decorated with the red ink. This is the equator. Meaning, from here, when the Jew is the same as Kutokapa, when the Jimmy. It is a halfway. The equator divides the drop of the heart into two equal halves. It divides it into two equal halves. We are from here, when the Jimmy also from here, when the Jew. Now, the moment you move from here, the moment you move from here, you move from this point towards north, towards north, up to where we have the north pole up to where we have the north pole. Then, you can also move towards this one, which is towards the southern part of the drop, up to where we have the south pole, up to where we have the south pole. So, the equator is zero degrees. You know that one from even what we learned in geography from one or from two. At the equator, it is zero degrees, it is zero degrees. Then, the moment you begin ascending towards, towards north pole, the degree becomes increasing. Maybe this is then degrees, this is going to be 20, this is going to be 30, and at the moment you reach at the north pole, this is 90 degrees north, this is 90 degrees north. So that the moment you move from equator, the moment you move from equator to what north pole, the degree in terms of north becomes increasing, keeps on increasing from 0 up to 90. The same thing applies, the same thing applies when you move from equator towards south. When you move from the equator towards south, the degree difference keeps on also increasing from the equator towards south up to here we have 90 degrees south. We have 90 degrees south. So that the moment you have here you begin from zero, maybe this is 20 degrees south, this is not, this is not, degrees not, degrees not, degrees not. Then up to here we have maybe this is maybe 60 degrees south all the way to 90 degrees south. That is the difference. Now, if you, can, you are very keen, in terms of east or west, Nanda Baka, 180. But in terms of north or south, north, the highest north is 90 degrees north, and this one, 90 degrees south. But from the equator, the moment you keep on descending toward the south, the degree differences keeps on increasing. From maybe 10 degrees south, 20 degrees south, all the way to 90 degrees south. The same thing applies when we talk about maybe from the equator, you are moving towards the north pole. We talk about 10 degrees north, 20 degrees north, 30 degrees north, all the way to 90 degrees north. So that is the major difference when we talk about uh, longitudes and latitudes. That is the major difference when we talk about longitudes and latitudes. Of course, there is a lot of things we are all learn. The moment we talk about this one, we are all to look at how can you come up with the degree difference between the two points? How can you come up with the degree difference between two points? Then, how can you come up with the distance between two given points? Maybe somebody is moving from this point, this is point A, this is to point B. What is the distance which is being covered from point A to point B? And of course, we are all to look on the distance in terms of new commands and also in terms of what they call the kilometers. That's what we are going to cover in our next lesson. Then you just take a look of this one, try to analyze what we mean by the term longitude and latitude, what is the difference between longitude and latitude, and also how can you number the in terms of degrees maybe according to latitude, maybe this is latitude, 20 degrees north, latitude, 30 degrees north, up to 90, also all the way to north, so that when we are on to meet next, 
When I talk about finding the degree difference between a point, you can know what it means. And also when you talk about finding the distance between the two given lines, you know what it means. And also you can know what is the equator and what is the importance of the, this line called the equator. And also what is the importance of this line called the prime meridian. Enjoy your day.